See, this is why I like Devin Haney, man. This is why I like Devin Haney. I don't care how much y'all hate on him. It don't matter. I like Devin Haney. And this is why. He wants to run the gauntlet at 40. Let's talk about it. What up, YouTube? Big Tio, Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. Get your big, funny-looking ass in here. <laughs> and hit the bag. Hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out to Gang the Bag Hitters. In every show, I say the same thing. I ask you sons of bitches to hit the like button, and yet you refuse to. Even if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down button. You some of my bitch. Now, this is why I like Devin Haney, man. This is why I like Devin Haney. Shout out Devin Haney, who just recently came out and says he wants to become undisputed at 140. This is why I like Devin Haney, bro. Devin Haney wants to become undisputed at 140. And listen, I'm, hey, he did it once. He could do it before. It'll be a different route, and he's got some extremely dangerous opponents to go through to do it. Now, a lot of people give him a lot of backlash on how he obtained Undisputed at 35, being that he really only had to go through George Cambosis, which many people deemed to be a paper champion. They thought it was an extremely lucky day versus a Teofimo Lopez. Most feel like... Uh, Cambosis maybe wins one fight out of a series of seven with Tiafema Lopez. But the fact is, he knocked off the lineal champ. He knocked off the unified champ. Um, and he held all of the belts outside of the, the, the regular dub or the, the WBC that Devin held. And Devin only had to beat Cambosis to become undisputed. Now that road to undisputed looks a lot different at 140 pounds. When you mention, again, Teofimo Lopez, the lineal champion at 140 pounds, the WBO champ, the hard-hitting Roley Romero, which I do believe most people, or it's the consensus that Devin Haney could box circles around Roley Romero, not so much Teofimo Lopez. And amongst them all at 140, the monster, uh, 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 somebody who I do believe you should fear and a Subriel Matias. Now, a lot of people are not going to agree with what I just said about Matias. That's just my opinion. I'm looking at what he's been able to do. 20 wins, one loss, all 20 wins by KO. He's made his last five opponents quit, and he's killed the man. Say what you want. I don't give a damn what you say. That's the definition of a monster. That's a hell of a different looking road to undisputed for Devin Haney at 140 pounds. I don't care what you say. Can he do it? Oh, man. Listen, as much as I like Devin Haney for having a heart, and this is why I like Devin Haney, to say that. And for the most part, when he says something, because he doesn't talk much, his daddy do all of the talking. But when Devin talks, when he speaks, for the most part, everything that I've seen that he spoke on, he stands on his square. He stands on business. And he attempts to do that. And I think that's what I like about him, man. Listen, it's so many it's so much about this kid that's likable is unfortunate. He just doesn't have some real punching power to give the fans what they really want to see. But despite that, despite knowing that he's coming into all of these fights more than likely never hurt hurting his opponents, or it's unlikely that he would hurt his opponents um, outside of a Regis pro grade, which was the first knockdown from Devin Haney, probably since, you know, 2016, 2017, uh, you know, Knowing this, he still has the heart to get in there. He still comes in there and puts his own, puts it on the line and say what you want. In uh um, you know his most recent fights, even a uh, Regis Progray, he hadn't been extremely hard to find. He sat in the pocket several times with Lomachenko. He sat in the pocket several times with George Cambosis Jr. Um, he sat in the pocket several times with with a lot of those guys. Right in his most recent fights. Um, 
he's willing to throw. He's willing to sit there and right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of can you cut off the ring and can you take advantage of those spots when he's throwing right there in front of you, you know? So listen, man, again, Devin's Devin's cool, man. It's hard to to hate that kid. Um, if you dislike Devin Haney for the simple fact that he knows how to box and he doesn't have power, that's on you, man. I'm a fan of the sweet signs. I'm a fan of boxing and the kid can move. Bottom line. But that gauntlet at 140, oh, man. When you think about those champions that I just mentioned, can Devin Haney run through them? Now, they all got fights coming up. Sabria Matias has a Liam Pyro, another undefeated Australian fighter out there. Uh, um, uh, of course, Roly Romero, I believe he loses to Pitbull, so that very well, that part of the landscape could change. And Teofimo Lopez, we're not sure what he's going to do next. Coming off the, uh, of course, the uh, um, Jermaine Ortiz fight, he's been trying to knock at the door of, uh, uh, of course, of a Bud Crawford. He's got the WBO superpowers. I don't know why he hasn't chosen to use those. Uh, but, man, that's a hell of a gauntlet. That's a hell of a different roadmap to Undisputed for Devin Haney. I would definitely want to know y'all's input in the comment section. Can Devin Haney become Undisputed? At 140 pounds. But for me, it's just the fact that he's saying it and he's saying it out loud. Um, you don't, you, I've, I've yet to hear these other champions say that they want to become undisputed at 40. And listen, becoming undisputed, it, it's what's hot right now. It's what's popular right now. Um, for me, uh, you know, a hardcore boxing fan, I think for all hardcore boxing fans, when you have somebody in a division who's not planning on going anywhere anytime soon, if you're not dead set on becoming undisputed and running through the rest of the champions, the fuck are you doing you know what i'm saying so for him to say that out loud and and i believe actually mean it i love it man now can he do it that's a different story uh i do believe subrio matias um you know uh is going to be that 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 wall that you can't get over uh i would love to see a showdown between him and, and uh, Teofimo Lopez, even though I feel like that fight will look a lot like the Jermaine Ortiz fight, uh, but it's the style. Styles make fights. It's the style of a Subrio Matias, which I think poses the biggest threat for um, uh, um, Devin Haney at 140. And listen, I can't even look past Ryan Garcia. That's a tall task for April the 20th. Say what you want. Devin Haney has, don't get me wrong, he's looked great. He's looked pretty damn good versus uh, 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 these older former world champions, right? Uh, he's looked good versus a paper champion and a George Cambosis Jr. But what does he look like with somebody his own age? What does he look like with somebody who's just as big as him? What does he look like versus somebody who has just as much leg? What does he look like with, with somebody who has just as much stamina? Right. Listen, I'm just keeping it a buck. This Ryan fight might not pan out the way that you think it's going to pan out. Uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting one to see. Uh, I think Devin Haney can get over that wall, but it could be very difficult to do so. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan land something significant in this fight to change everything. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. That's all I got for y'all on this one. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.